Cheers, guys. Epics 911, welcome to the Elitist Geek and a VR July 31st news addendum. I can't believe I forgot this news piece. So the first time that's happened to me where I've, you know, done the research, got excited about it, and then completely freaking forgot because it was on page three too far down on the Word document that I use as a template for all the news pieces. So facepalm moment. But without further ado, here is the addendum news piece that I was so excited about I completely freaking forgot. Anyways, it has to do with tricking the brain. And this is something we talked about a few times this week. We've talked about it in past weeks, how the brain isn't easily fooled. Well, that doesn't mean it can't be fooled. And this news piece is a perfect example of that. I'm going to include the link to the YouTube video below. Check it out. It's really pretty freaking cool. What it does, what they do, it's uh, University of Tokyo, I believe, did, uh, and they, they've got a really cool, check out the wireless HMD that the guy's wearing. It's got two antennas. Uh, it doesn't seem to be having a lot of latency, but who knows what the limitations are, right? It just looks pretty cool because the guy isn't like us with the Vive dragging 400 pounds of <laughs> cords around while he's doing this. But back to the story. So the guy is, he's got his right hand on a wall. The room VR space that he's working in is, it looks like a racetrack, right? It's an elliptical that he's going around. And as he's walking this circuit, he's got his hand on the wall. But notice what he's actually seeing and experiencing is a straight passage along some kind of castle wall many stories up. So he's got an edge to the left, right? Space where he can fall. And to the right, he's got a wall. But what he sees is a straight experience. What is actually happening in his, he's basically walking an elliptical in his room VR experience. Now, what is so freaking cool about that is if people can figure out all these tricks, right? Or some of these tricks in tricking the human brain, we can make the room VR experience go so much further. Imagine through these types of tricks and trickery, having your brain be able to believe that it's in an arena sized environment, like a football field, either European football, soccer, or American football, doesn't matter, you get the point a massive pitch, right? But being actually in your own room VR, but through those tricks, through those manipulations, being able to convince your brain and your eyes that what it is actually in is a huge arena. That to me is just awesome and has all kinds of potential for all kinds of games. So take a look at the video. Interested in knowing what your guys' thoughts are on this? Let me know. But... Um, the concept is really, really cool because you'll see again in the video, he's got his hand up on the wall, but he's walking an elliptical, but all the while convinced he's walking a straight line. So uh, locomotion, all kinds of implications for that. Uh, some definitely positive things could come out of that. Uh, if it's something that's you know, fairly easy to replicate within a game environment. That's always going to be the key. But the fact that it can be done so convincingly is pretty awesome. All right, guys, that's it for this addendum. As always, till the next time, cheers, have an awesome one.